After I dropped my video of the unboxing, there was a good amount of questions regarding the setup using a wired backhaul. So I decided to just throw another video out there, um, show the setup and my final thoughts on Nest Wi-Fi. Let's get going. So the first thing I had to do was connect the router to my AT&T modem. And from there, I connect the power and then plug it, the ethernet into the switch. The switch connects to the other outlets in my house. And then from there, I use the Google Home app to start the setup process. Um, so once you start a Google Home app, it's gonna ask you to scan the QR code, scan the QR code on the router, and then go through the app to pretty much finish the process. Once you finish the process on the router, then you just move on to the point so the which is the other router you're going to use the other router as a point and where i'm connecting my point is upstairs in my office i'm connected the router downstairs connect the point into the ethernet outlet and then plug the power in and go back to the google home app and then go through the same process again of adding a point um it's going to be similar to adding a router but most of the configurations will already be there it's just connecting that creating that mesh system. And that's pretty much it regarding the setup process. I think there was a lot of confusion regarding the wired backhaul because Google didn't market, it was able to wired backhaul and it was more so focused on the wireless backhaul and having that point being another Google Assistant built-in point. I personally didn't need another Google Assistant around. I mean, I got a lot of Google Homes. I got, I got enough. <laughs> so, I didn't need another one, especially I didn't need my point to be a Google Home. I mean, the feature itself is cool, but I was leaning more so on the speed side of things rather than having another assistant around. I have a gigabit internet, so I wanted to get the most out of my mesh system. Not saying that the wireless backhaul wouldn't give a good speeds. I mean, it does give good speeds, but I was definitely getting a higher speeds hardwired directly into the other route. Even though the speeds are good, I still wish that it had Wi-Fi 6, just to kind of future proof it right now. I know there's not a lot of Wi-Fi 6 devices that's out right now, but I mean, over time with technology, you know, more and more devices, I can almost be for sure that mostly all the phones that come out next year will have Wi-Fi 6 in it. So they've been nice for it to be future proof. Maybe Google will release another router that has Wi-Fi 6 built in. It most likely will be more expensive, but I would have liked for it to have Wi-Fi 6 in there. Other than that, I mean, everything's been working fine. I mean, I did have a few times where it seems like it held on to one point for a little too long, where at another point was like, I'll be upstairs sometimes and it'll still hold on to the, the, the router that's downstairs instead of switching over to the to the point that's upstairs. Other than that, I mean, like sometimes I'm getting way faster speeds upstairs than I'm even getting downstairs. And that probably because I have more devices connected to the router downstairs. But overall, I mean, it's been good. But outside of that, Google do needs to do something about the use of two apps. Right now, you need the Google Home app to set up the router and a point. But then the Google Home app is really limited in what you can do as far as with your mesh network. Um, to control your mesh network in a deeper detail and see what's actually going on on your network, you need to use the Google Wi-Fi app, which came out with the original Google Wi-Fi system, and it's dated. The UI is just old. It, it just looks old. It needed like a complete overhaul. And I kind of see from the time I got the Nest Wi-Fi, I've been seeing more features added to Google Home. I mean, as far as just a normal consumer, it's kind of adds confusion that is right now you need two different apps to manage your system. And just to make the process a little more simple, they need, need to get everything over into the Google Home app to cause less confusion from your normal consumers. Me personally, I would like them to probably keep the second app and just make it actually more advanced. So it adds a little deeper for people that want to do more with their Wi-Fi instead of just plugging and play and want to get into like the nitty gritties of configuring your network i would like them to keep that app around but like i said add more advanced features inside that app and give it a completely big visual overhaul because it needs some work then that's wi-fi it's a great product i think it's worth it for anyone that has gigabit internet to spend a little extra and just buy two routers instead of a point the situation is different for everyone but i think it is worth it to spend a little more 
just to get that other router to two router package instead of getting the router point package but that's it thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe this is another joe tech talk and i'm out